This conference will now be recorded. I don't know if Jamal is there. Jamal is there? Yeah, I'm checking that. Okay. Any questions? Uh, no, from my side, no. But I believe as soon as we start to work and work center, and uh, and you can show us all the details. If I have any yeah. question, this is it is very simple. I believe yeah. until now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So I'm opening my system. I will show you. yesterday. Yeah, yesterday we are discussing on the uh, work center. What is the purpose and uh, how we can use it? Now I will show you in SAP. Yeah. Hi, Jamal. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Good. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you. Are you able to see my screen now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm opening the SAP. I will show you how to create work center and the different fields in work center. The menu path is logistics, production, master data, and work centers. Work center create. So this is the initial screen of a work center. Here, first we will enter the plant. and then any name of work center work center you can give any name here like i am giving work center 001 and then here work center category we need to give. work center category is like this work center we are using for what purpose SAP has defined some standard categories like this work center is a mission or it is a labor or it is a group of missions. Work center mission group means it is a group of missions. So which type of work center we are defining we need to select. I am selecting this as a mission. And then press enter. So once you press center, it will open create work center basic data. He, like material master. There was a question uh, yeah. here. What is uh, why group of machine or machine? For example, mm -hmm. I, I understand yesterday we have been working on machine, but the group mm -hmm. of machine that means the same work center it has uh, multiple machines. Or, or what you mean on this one? Correct. Same work yeah. center, you will have a multiple missions. Because okay. the reason is each individual mission you don't want to create as a work center. Okay, okay. Okay. Four or five missions together you want to make as a one work center and you want to measure the your cost and uh, activities. So mm -hmm. in that case we will create one work center for group of missions okay. okay 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 now here like material master you have a multiple tabs here we will maintain the values here so first is work center dis uh, description name of the work center i can say assembling mission the assembling the car okay assembling car this is my work center in basic data the first is some fields like 
person responsible person responsible is nothing but a person who is maintaining that work center supervisor or manager that person you can put his name here and then uses this work center like BOM uses this work center can be used in a multiple areas like inspection plans routings networks rate routings all these are the applications means uh, all these are we need to use this in a different applications so where we are using this work center we need to maintain generally we will maintain this as a 009 all task list mm -hmm. so this work center can be used in routings can be used in inspection plans for QM module networks maintenance task means PM module mm -hmm. so this work center can be used in all so generally we can select 009 all tasks so now here next field is standard value key this is important thing yes, standard value key so yesterday i told you this work center can be used to measure your mission mission means how many hours it is running like that and we can use this for the labor also labor means how many workmen is working on this mission okay and this mission can be used for setup time setup means before starting of the mission you require some activities like maybe cleaning or make it ready that mission that is called the setup you are setting up that mission before starting your assembly so these are the some parameters you are measuring in work center so these group of parameters we will maintain in one key that is called the standard value key in the standard value key we will maintain what are the parameters we would like to measure in this work center okay that group we will maintain here for example these are the standard sap keys normal production variable production process production line all these are the sap standard not y but it is the sap 0 to sap 6 for example if i take the sap 1 normal production so inside of this key if i press enter i am pressing enter now you will get the water parameters we are going to measure in this one it will display here in the bottom now i am just pressing enter now you can see it is displayed three keys one is setup another one is mission third one is a labor so that means in this work center we are planning to measure these parameters is it clear? Yeah. Okay. So we set up. Uh, we we. Is it is a standard setup, or we should we set it up ourselves. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Is it a, now it is six? But we can set up whatever we like, or it is a standard. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes, SAP standard is okay. You can maintain also. You can create your own also okay mm -hmm. how yeah. to create is here you can see create values it will open your configuration okay define define standard value keys uh yeah yeah yes. this, uh, where does it screen come from uh, I, I did not see it earlier yeah, 
Uh, did you go in configuration or uh, SPRO that you? Yeah, I'm now showing you in configuration SPRO. Mm -hmm. Okay, this you can go to the configuration also. I'm showing in a configuration. This is SPRO. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the production now. Production. And in the production, you can open the basic data. It's and not basic. Okay, now it's showing. Okay, good. You are able to see production. Yeah. Then basic data. Mm -hmm. Then click on work center. Mm -hmm. Then click on general data. Here you can see standard value. Expand this standard value and here define standard value key. Mm -hmm. Execute. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, if you scroll down okay. and there are some other keys, one is production and other one is says production planning. Mm. Since we are working production planning, is the production yeah. and production planning is two, why is two different? Uh, yeah. Mention? So you mean to say this one or production and production planning for process industry? These two, <clears throat> you mean to say, correct? No, uh, if you go back to the SPRO. So yes. I'm in SPRO. Okay, now can you scroll down later? Okay. It says, okay, this is a, one say production, then it says production planning for processing. Yeah. Then advanced planning. Hmm. This advanced planning is, uh, is different, but why it's two different field production and production planning? Hmm. Okay. So, in initially. For for yeah, I'm yeah, for yeah. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I'm so, yeah, yeah, I'm explaining you. Hmm. In initial starting classes, I uh, explained you discrete manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And process manufacturing mm -hmm. and repeated. These are the three business scenarios in our PP module. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, this discrete manufacturing related configuration is available in that production path. Okay. okay. In the production path, all <coughs> configuration related to discrete and repetitive is available. Okay. And but repetitive. specific to, yeah, repetitive. And specific to process industries, mm -hmm. you can see a different folder here production planning in process industries okay this is a separate folder for process related configuration this is that field okay production planning for process industries you can see so process industry related configuration is available in this path is this clear so the production process is in planning, right? Yeah. Production planning for process industries is mm -hmm. for process related configuration. Chemical okay. industries and pharma. Okay. So it means when you work in a production planning, you have three kind of uh, yeah. production, which is one is a discrete and uh, the repetitive Correct. will cover. Correct discrete and uh, correct. the process will cover the plan process. correct correct okay yes. so okay. anytime you do the production planning uh, mm. i mean uh, uh, anytime you do the, uh, the processes uh, production process you will go mm. to you will go to planning correct okay i will go to production process process industries that node i need to check Okay, and one more thing is, if uh, when some you work, parameters are when you work yeah. on a system uh, SPRO, yeah. mm. the 
the the, the SPR is not showing. Uh, hmm. You are working on Excel. Excel is there, but the SPR screen is not showing. Okay. Now you are able to see my Excel file. Yes. Okay. Now I came to the SPRO. Right. Now. Are you able to? Yes. Are you able to see now? Okay. Uh, yes. That's fine. Okay. Now your another question is what is advanced planning here? Right. Okay. This advanced APO. Yeah, exactly. This is nothing but a PPDS module. APO PPDS module. I told you this is embedded into S4 HANA now. So that uh, what are the configuration related to PPDS module? It is under advanced planning. So APO means uh, advanced planning. Yeah. Correct. Advanced APO, planning. No, yeah. no, advanced planning and what? What is uh, O stands for? Oh, you mean to say APO? What is the meaning of APO? Advanced planning and optimization. Optimization. Yeah, this is a separate system actually. Okay, and what is the PPT stand for? Okay, production planning and detailed scheduling. Production planning. We we will do it. It is it is part of our class or not? Yeah, PPT it is a part of part of our class i will give some introduction and uh, i will show you the scenario ppds okay. at the okay. end thank you uh, production planning uh, production planning and detail scheduling and what is what is t stand for t yes t is not there here ppds you say ppt Oh, PPDS. I'm sorry. Okay. P, uh, yeah, PPDS. Production okay. planning and detail scheduling. Details. Okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now I'm going to the standard value key. Production basic data, and I am opening the define standard value key. So here. Once you open this standard value key, you can uh, either you can copy the normal production and you can see you can enter whichever you want the parameters. Okay. And you can put this is a Z, uh, Z001 or ZSAP, SA1 okay it's not showing here jamal are you able to see now it's come but when you were start the first it was not showing. i think the the screen is coming today late okay yes yes you are right okay the standard so value, the standard value key now can you can you please go back and uh, yes. Show us again. I want to see standard. Okay. So now I am there in the initial screen of standard value formula. Okay. You are able to see SAP zero, SAP one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. yes okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can select standard uh, any one of this one and yeah. click on copy. Okay. So when you copy, it will show you another screen. Right. Change view standard value key formula. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you can put your any name here. Normal production. Some name like I'm giving the Honda. Mm -hmm. And here you can give the six parameters. Okay. Like setup, mission and labor. For example, you don't want to set up. You don't want to measure setup. Only you want to measure mission and labor. Mm -hmm. So you can select only mission and labor only. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just to, you know, from your experience, what do you know? Usually, what do you know? 
your voice is not clear yeah i'm sorry yeah i'm, I'm moving the speaker from your experience okay. uh, which 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 one they take for example because surely you work in many different projects yeah so okay. which one they set up for the scan of uh, standard value yeah. key for example keys thank yeah. you sir generally we will use the normal production like a setup mission and labor these three yeah. only okay. okay 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 because this is a configuration we won't change frequently if i don't want setup time so mm -hmm. i will maintain zero value in the routing actually we will use this in the routing routing master data so that time in in place of standard value i will put the zero Okay. Now, what is the what is the other field in uh, this parameter? If you drop down, can you see? Yeah. For example, here you can see setup mission labor. Okay. This is SAP as given. Okay. Copy time one, time two, some anything. If you want, you can use it. Tear yeah. down requirements. Okay. <clears throat> So in this uh, scenario that we are using only for work center machine and labor. Yeah. So we don't need, <clears throat> excuse me, we don't need any other like three, four, five, six or whatever. This is the requirement. This is the standard that you work on a work center. Yeah. yeah. The example, for example, I'm saying, okay, <clears throat> how to create this uh, standard way. Yeah. Okay. okay. If you want to use setup machine and labor, already we have the standard key SAP one that you can use. Okay, in the bottom it says generate. So is this is also a standard? No, no. Oh yeah, this tick mark and uh, checkbox is also a standard. I see. Okay. It will generate this formula. That's all. Okay. Maybe maybe after when we set it up for one uh, in. Uh, production center if you want any value in this one you can maybe you should decrease the rate or not does mean today i use this one this is a one with two parameters but tomorrow uh, the future after two three months maybe if i need to add any more value i can add more parameter for example for this one or no this one stay like this forever no, you can add also. After some time, yeah. you want to add another parameter, you can add. This is yeah. just for, for training yeah. purpose. Yeah. Okay. So I'm clicking OK button mm -hmm. to save this. I'm saving it. <clears throat> so my question is, when you yeah. create any work center, Mm, okay. different, uh, different uh, uh, assembly or different plant or different anything you okay. have to create the work center and then you have to go and create the standard value queue uh, value, uh, value key for uh, uh, for every work center correct no if your work center want to maintain only standard one you don't require to create I the see. parameters are having the different combinations like mm -hmm. normal production we saw the three are there setup mission and labor but uh, you want a different one only you want to measure mission and labor so that time only you need to create otherwise okay. it is not required okay if we select uh, the standard value is this mm -hmm. a standard value then its work center will work for every work uh, every uh, uh, with every application yeah you can use the same uh, standard value key for other work center cells i see okay 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 now i am going back to work center mm -hmm. It's not going back. Yeah, yeah, I'm showing. Now you are able to see the work center screen. No, it's a SPRO screen actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
it is showing as a work center no this is a work center basic data yeah now that's that's correct okay yeah now we are in uh, work center basic data screen mm -hmm. so here in the standard value key mm -hmm. you can see whatever we created now zsc1 normal production honda okay now one more question here when you set up the standard value key okay and you did not set up the the setup means at the top one and machine labor setup why is showing here setup then no and we are not selected now we are not at selected this key now i am just selecting it i see okay and now i am pressing enter mm -hmm. now you can see ah okay perfect okay mm -hmm. okay <clears throat> so this is the very important value in work center okay right. standard value key mm -hmm. okay so uh, after this one mm -hmm. we need to go to the default values okay one more question here there, there is a there is another field it hmm. says the uh, rules of maintain and then after there is another value it says k so what hmm. is that for actually key for performance efficiency rate efficiency rate this is the uh, efficiency rate is like its efficiency is 100 percent if you not maintain anything here mm. the mission efficiency is like 100 percent okay so can you click yeah. this we'll see what kind of value we have here yeah with the k yeah you can see These are the two values, 001 sample and MK1. You can maintain this in a configuration. I see. Efficiency rate. You can maintain it mm -hmm. and you can select it. I see. Okay. And the other thing, uh, after K, mm. there is another key, there is another icon that I want to see that's uh, all the way up to the end up up right here uh, right here this one right you don't have any only description the after <clears throat> after description there is a blue key and something can you maintain here something this one no little up um. your cursor is not moving so can you go little up please no it is Oh, here. Up one. Yeah. Just it says description and all the way description in the end. Oh, after description, nothing is there. No, there is a there is one square box with the blue and a black shade mark. Yeah, correct. This is you will see this button in all of the screens, hmm. most of the screens. Yeah. Wherever you see this one is nothing but uh, the sequence of this uh, table. So like configuration means this description k and everything is there so okay. these it will change the configuration you can see i see okay all want right. to it is like a table settings okay all right thank you this is you will see commonly wherever you see the screen like table mm -hmm. okay. okay okay now i'm moving to the next tab mm -hmm. default values here mm -hmm. mainly we will maintain the unit of measure for standard values unit of measure we selected mission and labor mm -hmm. for these two how you want to measure mm -hmm. okay these generally we will measure in a unit of measure uh, like time mm -hmm. mission time mm -hmm. so the time is like hours or minutes mm -hmm. we will maintain unit of measure mm -hmm. okay. okay that means it will say you uh, 10 hours it is running time right okay labor mm -hmm. also will maintain in a time only mm -hmm. the reason is five labors are working mm -hmm. for eight hours each labor is eight hours so their total working is 40 40 hours now did we did we mention any place that fire labors are working no 
we won't mention as five labors we will mention as hours only 40 hours i see and what about the other keys that it's a uh, operation default value we don't need to fill up this uh, uh, other values like control yeah. keys here it is not required but here it is a control key is an important field mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. this is same control key we will use in routing routing means another ma our next master data next okay okay i will explain you that but we cannot but, uh, maintain the control key here in default value in work and i'm coming to that okay, okay. i'm entering here mission hours as a power mm -hmm. okay now here operation default values means whichever you maintain the values here these will get copied into the another master data routing when i'm maintaining the routing mm -hmm. that time i will use this work center okay that time the values maintained here will automatically get copied so that is called the default value okay for example I am just selecting the one value, but importance and everything I will explain you in the routing. Okay. Okay. For example, I am maintaining the PP01. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if I maintain this value, when I am creating routing, that time this value will come as a default. I see. That is the meaning of default values, operation default values. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these remaining things also the same thing. Whatever you maintain here, it mm -hmm. will come in routing master data. I see. And what about the other right side? It says reference and check mark there. Yeah. If you tick mark this one, mm -hmm. so this value which is coming from here in the routing master, you mm -hmm. cannot change in the routing. If you check mark it. Yes. If you not check mark it. It will show you the default value, but in the routing master, you can change also. I see. Okay. Okay. Next, I'm going to the next screen. Capacity. Yes. One second, please. Okay, go ahead. Okay. This capacity tab is important. Okay. So, in this capacity tab, we will maintain some formulas okay and we will maintain other parameters also mm -hmm. what are the other parameters i will show you mm -hmm. first is capacity category i think someone is asked capacity categories we will create in a separate screen okay mm -hmm. separate transaction code we can create a separately or we can create in this tab actually mm -hmm. okay so now this capacity related like mission capacity related data everything we will maintain in this tab mm -hmm. so what is that first is we are creating this as a mission work center as a mission so first we will select the category its category as mission i see okay so you can select 001 mm -hmm. and once you select this one at the bottom mm -hmm. you will have one button capacity with the cap symbol you are able to see at the bottom one button is there capacity the bottom is not showing it's a little hiding yeah okay it is coming now You are able to see? No. Not yet, not yet. Okay, okay. Now it's coming, yes. Now yeah. say again what you were trying to say before. Yeah, okay. So the capacity related fields data we will maintain in this button. I see. I'm just clicking this button, then it will open another screen. Okay this is important mm -hmm. now you can see it is open the screen create work center capacity header let me know once it is showing to you yes okay mm -hmm. okay in this screen mm -hmm. 
-hmm. first we will maintain the capacity of this uh, description some description you can maintain capacity of mission and here capacity responsible is nothing but a person like work center responsible person you can select the capacity responsible also mm. now this factory calendar is there mm. factory calendar means we will maintain a calendar in the plant mm. so calendar will have the what are the work working days what are the holidays it will show you you will maintain in the factory calendar for example your plant is running seven days a week but this work center is running only five days a week okay your plant is working seven days a week but this mission is working only five days a week so in that case you can create a separate factory calendar and you can assign that calendar here mm -hmm. if you are not assigned anything here this will consider the your plant factory calendar only mm -hmm. okay next is this mission as i told you will work in how many hours whether it is working 8 hours it is working 10 hours 10 hours yeah. okay so that working we will maintain in the standard value capacity here start time and end time here we will maintain okay so this we want to measure as hours so you can maintain here capacity base unit is hour okay and here start time so when this mission is starting maybe morning six o'clock you can maintain the time and when is the ending when you are stopping this mission okay maybe it is ending at evening six o'clock okay 10 hours or 12 hours and for a lunch break or breakfast break you are stopping this mission for two hours you can maintain that so in, other, so in other words uh, when you when you are working suppose in uh, one car and a same mm. plant mm. and one day you work from uh, six to uh, for example three o'clock mm. and another day you work from six to five o'clock so the next day you will come and uh, change the timing so is it a uh, uh, regular practice or it is just for one day well it's a whole week process but some other reason one day is a delay or your uh, you know power problem or some equipment problem and some hindrances you are not starting the six o'clock you are supposed to starting for some other reason mm -hmm. uh, 10 o'clock so there is a gap two hours and you start like 10 o'clock to three o'clock then mm -hmm. particular that day you have to come and change in a works no in actually not required this is a master data mm -hmm. it is just like a planned we are planning to start at six o'clock but actually you can start at 6 30 or 7 we don't know okay but this is just like a planning means master master data in one day or two day cases you don't require to come and change the master data um i understand but is that effects on the costing and all the system no uh anyhow the costing will different okay because planned is morning six to six mm -hmm. but actually it started at 10 o'clock so that means you have lost some cost mm -hmm. okay this is just a planned actual may be a different i see your efficiency came down mm -hmm. okay yeah okay so the next field is capacity utilization mm -hmm. okay capacity utilization means 
for example in your case actual planned is 6 to 6 o'clock mm -hmm. but if you are maintaining 6 to 6 o'clock that is a hundred percent capacity mm -hmm. but out of 6 to 6 you are using only uh, out of 10 hours you want to work only eight hours mm -hmm. then that is a utilization of 80 percent i see you are utilizing only 80 percent okay. okay this field also you can change mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and another field is their number of individual capacities mm -hmm. means if this work center is a single mission you can maintain as a one if you have this work center as a multiple missions two three missions mm -hmm. okay for example if this work center is having the two missions each mission is working eight hours so two missions means it is a 16 hours mm -hmm. okay if you have the three missions means working of these three if you add it is a 24 hours so for example okay. there are two uh, shift in the industry and mm -hmm. one is morning shift and the evening night shift so can yeah. you put the two one plus one that is two uh so each shift is eight hours eight hours correct right okay in this uh, in that case you can put here from start date and end date time i see eight hour eight hour means 16 hours so, so example you are starting as morning six o'clock mm -hmm. and you will maintain here as a 10 o'clock 16 I see. hours i see okay so then it is actually the eight plus eight 16 hours so that will be number of uh, uh, yeah now yeah. it will come here now okay mm -hmm. i am putting here 100 percent and one capacity if i press enter mm -hmm. so system will calculate what is the from 8 to 10 o'clock how many hours it is mm -hmm. 16 hours mm -hmm. minus your break time mm -hmm. minus two hours so 14 hours is your capacity if i press enter system will calculate and show here the value here value okay mm -hmm. you can see 14 hours mm -hmm. okay yeah. so how the system is calculated 14 hours is mm -hmm. your based on your start time end time breaks and the number of capacities mm -hmm. for example if you have the two capacities means two missions mm -hmm. working from 6 to 9 22 okay then if I press enter, this 14 will become 28 hours. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you have multiple missions, you can maintain this as a multiple. <clears throat> okay. So I'm just putting one only. Okay. Mm -hmm. And next is in the bottom, you have some tick marks one is relevant for finite scheduling you can tick mark this one but what is finite scheduling i will explain you do during the another subject capacity planning okay that time i will explain you what is finite schedule but you can put this as a tick mark mm -hmm. and overload percentage for example you want to overload overload means example it is it is working only 14 hours but one day or some days you want to work more mm -hmm. like 16 hours or 18 hours so how much overload you want to consider you can select here percentage like 10 percent 20 percent so percentage also you can maintain here. okay okay and can be used by several operations means this work center we will use in routing okay mm -hmm. routing means one is like uh, packing another is like assembling mm -hmm. okay these are called the operations another is like uh, painting these are called the operations okay so all these operations if you are working in the same work center mm -hmm. same mission area so then you can select this can be used by several operations Okay. Each operation wise is a separate work center, then uh, you don't require this. Okay. Yes. Okay. 
there is a tick mark long term planning this is also another subject okay so i will explain you later about this what is long term plan yeah i'm sorry can you repeat what this is can be used as material operation please yeah for example you are doing production okay you are doing the operations i am showing you the excel file now okay operations like uh, assembling another next step you are doing as painting you are painting the car and third step is like uh, you are testing you are doing testing of your car these three you are doing to assemble your final product these are called the operations these three are called the operations okay so if you are performing the operations in a same work center <laughs> same work center like wc001 only you are using for all these <laughs> operations then you can tick mark this can be used by several operations yeah can you show the can you show us please on a in the work center on a spr i mean a master data you were talking about operations yeah that i will next master data that is okay routing that time i will show you that actually okay 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 after work center we will go to the routing master data that time i will show you how to maintain this values there mm -hmm. okay. so that is the meaning actually can be used by several operations mm -hmm. okay great thank you okay thank you so once you fill these values mm -hmm. in capacity header mm -hmm. you can click on the back button mm -hmm. so it will come back again to the capacities yes tap yeah are you able to see now uh, work center screen yes in capacity tab okay yeah yes yeah. okay so yeah. this is how to go to the capacity uh, mm -hmm. screen and mm -hmm. come back to work center okay <laughs> and next thing is here we need to maintain the formulas Okay. we need to maintain the formula mm -hmm. formula what is the formula means for example you want to produce one car you want to produce one car mm -hmm. to produce this one car it is taking 10 hours mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. to produce one car it is taking 10 hours mm -hmm. okay for example i need 5 cars mm -hmm. so how much hours i need to work means machine hours required 50 50 so how you calculated this multiply by hours correct how you calculated is like 5 times 10 <clears throat> 5 into 10, 10 yeah. divided by 1 mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. 5 into 10 mm -hmm. divided by 1 mm -hmm. this is a formula correct yeah okay same thing SAP will tell you is a formula mm -hmm. that formula you need to maintain here to calculate your mission time Mm -hmm. that is called the processing formula mm -hmm. and this formula you will have the general practices we won't create generally the formulas we will use SAP formulas only. SAP has given the formulas mm -hmm. okay so we can see production mission requirement how the system will calculate the mission hours I see okay uh if it's a standard setup, then you do do the uh, formula production setup. 
is that's the one number five sp zero zero for setup if we are using the setup then we will use the five and if you are for using the labor then it's a uh, seven okay but there is a there is a other one labor time yeah yeah i'm coming i'm coming that okay so i will show you that what is that okay so presently i'm selecting the sap 006 okay okay and now what is there inside of this formula so i told you this calculation okay if you want to know what is there in the inside of the formula scroll down again are you able to see that uh, capacity button in the down? No, it's not a scrolling down. Now okay. it's a little more. One more time, please. Yeah. Now it came? No. Your One capacity more. button? Now, now it's coming, yeah. Yeah, okay. Now here you can see other buttons also, like FORM. It is nothing but a formula, okay? Oh, it's if FORM you, means formula. Yeah, you can click this button, form. Mm -hmm. Now, is it showing one screen display formula? Mm -hmm. Are you able to see? Yeah, it says machine times yeah. operation quantity Correct. divided by base, base quantity. Correct. This is what I've explained you the formula. Mission into operation quantity divided by base quantity. So okay. that is nothing but in Excel file you can see mm -hmm. 5 into 10 divided by 1. I see. Okay. 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 That is a formula, and in the bottom you can see formula indicator. Mm -hmm. In the same screen, you will see the formula indicator. Mm -hmm. Generate costing allowed work center requirements, and then in the right side, allowed scheduling and this one. Mm -hmm. These formulas can be used in capacities, scheduling, and costing also. I see. Okay. In the tabs, you can see capacity scheduling and costing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these formulas can be used in capacity calculation, mm -hmm. scheduling calculation. Scheduling means calculation of your start time and end time. And third one is casting purpose. Casting so purpose the, is. So the left side is a is for formula, which is generate mm -hmm. casting mm -hmm. and work center. And the right side PRT and allow is a blanks to in, in other words it's relevant with the scheduling and casting correct okay, okay. no casting allowed is means related to casting okay okay allowed scheduling means related to scheduling purpose oh i see work okay. center for requirements is relevant for the capacities i see okay so so this formula is related to capacity and casting okay Okay. In next tab, scheduling is there. That yeah. is relevant for the scheduling. Okay. okay. So now I will show you the SAP. You ask the SAP 001. If I open that SAP 001 or 2, mm -hmm. then this allowed scheduling will be tick marked. I see. This work center for requirements, tick mark will not be there. So that means during scheduling, you need to use that formula for mission calculation. I see. Okay. So that is the meaning of this formula. Okay. okay? Yeah. So yeah. is it clear this capacity tab? Yeah. We maintain the capacity related and we maintain the formula also. Okay. Uh, no. mm. The formula processing formula. The mm -hmm. other tab is a setup formula. We don't need that. We don't require actually. I see. You can see. Actually, you can see what is that you are saying? Okay. You have the different uh, buttons here. Formula test formula. Mm -hmm. It is just like you can enter some values. Mm -hmm. And you can test whether it is calculating like one hour, one car is equal to five hours, then five cars is equal to 50 hours. You want to create, it's you a, can create. This is a syntax that you check and you check it. Yeah, you can check it. Correct. Formula is working fine or not. You can check. Okay. okay. 
and uh, only in capacity we just need only two one capacity category and Correct. processing formula and nothing we don't need any other things yeah other things are not required. if you are using setup you can enter the setup formula also i see if you are okay that uh, as my our key is not having the setup i am not maintaining okay. otherwise if we have the Otherwise, setup key yes. yeah you can maintain it here now what about the the other side which says control capacity reduction we don't need this not required we can keep the formula I see. okay okay now i am going to the next tab scheduling yeah. here also you are able to see scheduling details scheduling tab yes okay now here capacity category so yes. it is nothing but our mission 001 same thing means okay and here also for scheduling calculation also we will maintain the formula mm -hmm. so if you uh, when you put the capacity uh, category hmm. and you enter it i think automatically the all the formulas will pulled up here no no it won't come i see you need to enter manually okay now here you need to select the sap 002 because this is related to your scheduling purpose okay not the sap 006 mission requirements is for capacity calculation mission time production mission time is for scheduling purpose okay because we want to we are working on a scheduling yeah exactly okay you want to see you can scroll down mm -hmm. i am scrolling down Okay, and uh, I am clicking on the formula. Now you can see. Are you able to see display formula screen? No, yeah, you. Not yet. It's coming, maybe. Yeah, it is coming. Yeah, now as I can see, yes, it's. Can can I drop the call? How how long would take uh, us to do it? Because I have another call. Uh, yeah, yeah. One minute only. I will stop it after this screen. I will save it. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now you can see the formula SAP002. Now tick mark is allowed scheduling. Yeah, and other work center is checked off. Is removed. Yeah, checked off. That is the reason this mm -hmm. formula we need to only use for the scheduling purpose. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am closing this and I am saving it. In this screen only we will enter these two only capacity category and formulas. Okay. You don't require to enter anything. Okay. Yeah. Just one second. Let me copy it, please. Yeah. So I will stop now the class. Okay. And I'm saving it. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I will tell you what is costing. What is the costing tab details? Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks yeah. to you. Thank you. Have Thank you. And have a nice day. Bye. In other words, I mean, uh, in the work center when you are working. Okay. Scheduling, you go with the time. If you are working with capacity, you go with the uh, work center requirement. Work requirement. Okay, that's Correct. the. But this is also very important. Work center is hmm. and capacity is very important because yes, these correct. are related. Then when you work with the routing, so correct. These are very important things. Correct. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice I'm saving it. Yeah. Have a nice night. Have a nice. Okay. Bye. Bye bye.